Alright everyone, welcome back to a brand new Final Fantasy XV video. Today guys, I'm going to show you the best weapon and gear, accessories, all of it, in Final Fantasy XV. So everyone, let's get right to it. Now before we start, I am missing, I think it's one item or two items, but... They're not, they're good, but I'll, I'll talk about it in a second, about these two items, but I've got everything else. I have beat all of the, um, the big dungeons, you know, the, uh, the menace sleeps beneath whatever. And these are all just side quests that I just haven't had really time to go finish up. I'll get it done, though, pretty soon. But the big stuff, guys, is what I've got on my person. So let's get right to it. So for Noctis, your guy, your main big player, there's some, there's a few ways I like to run with him, but the biggest, most, the best way to, in my personal opinion to run with Noctis is full on attack. Defense is okay. It's good. Depending on the situation, if you're going against a fire dragon, you'll want to go down here, equip the uh, thermal suit to get protection from fire. Or vice versa, which I'll talk about in a second. But right now, I've got a lot of attack. And I'm doing this because attack is something that's really worth it in the game. Because you're going to go down in a few hits, no matter what. When you get to this level, uh, max level, certain some bosses, they will just kill you. It doesn't matter what level you are, how much health you got. They will, heal, they will kill you in one or two attacks, no matter what. So to me, more attack is more worth it. So I've got the Dominator, which is an amazing, amazing um, great sword. Actually, both of these, Apocalypse and Dominator, you get these from the Menace Sleeps Beneath. Uh, the first three, the first three, I forgot the name of them. There's a few dozen, there's a lot, there's eight of them in total, but you get these weapons from doing the Menace Sleeps, which you will need to do. Start from the bottom, work your way up. Once you equip these two, you can. You might be saying, well, what about Gladios, you know? Well, I got the Iron Duke on him. Iron Duke, to me, is just fine. Look at his attack, dude. Look at that. That's 1458. This guy knows what he's doing. He deals some massive damage with this weapon. But let's go back to Noctis first. So I got these guys set up with the Dominator and Apocalypse because these are really good, powerful weapons. You could go over here, but guess what? None of them is more powerful. Even if over here, if you go over here, maybe one? Nope, none of them is more powerful. So having these two here... And for your main weapon you use the most, it is personal preference. My Me personally, it's between the Zwill, uh, Zwill Cross Blades, which is you get this from beating the final legendary boss. Um, and you get this from Leslium, top old guy. You can't miss it. It's a quest mark. Um, uh, quest mark. This or the Balmung or Ultima Blade. Swords are really good because you can do certain abilities you can't with the, uh, the cross blades. I like this because you can do link strikes more often with the sword. So it mixes it up, dealing more damage. But if you like that attack speed, if you like to get out of the way and dodge, go for those real cross blades. But me personally right now, I'm using the bomb lung because it is pretty good. Ultima blade is very decent as well. It's just, uh, I'm still torn between both of them. I really am torn between them. Um, as for the final one, right now I just beat the um, the final Minus Slips Beneath Castle Mark. Tough dungeon, dudes. Toughest dungeon ever. But I beat it. Look at all this. This is what I had to work with. <laughs> that was just so. It was crazy. But for this, you will have to. You can um, you can really go with more attack if you want. Like look at this. You can boost the attack up more, or you can go over here and even equip another. Where's that? Right here. Is it right? There it is another great sword to just get that more damage that's what i'm talking about guys or uh where's it at you could hmm, if you want defense if you want some defense you could equip the seal of the just this is this is this is what you would like this is me to you guys if you want defense go for the seal of the just if you want some more more damage go equip um your best great sword for that damage because that's really all you're gonna need once you do that, I'm going to equip this right there. Boom, is that right? That's the right one? I think it's the right one. Is it right? Yes, it's right. All right. Now, let's go down to accessories. First off, the Black Hood. You get this from doing the Pityos um, dungeon. Top left of the map, you need to get the flying car. This will allow you to automatically dodge 
or evade attacks, automatically block. Perfect, guys. It really is good. It is a little buggy, though. If you're attacking or doing something, it won't work at all. So it is. it does not work always, but it works about 80% of the time, which is great for helping you de defeat enemies. This saved me so many times. I've got the Magitek Shield, which I will not have always. Now, I only have this on right now for the attack boost, the health, you know. But there is one um, accessory that I don't have, which is called the Magitek Suit. And it's V2 or um, Series 2 or whatnot that I don't have. I'm still trying to get it. This thing is truly one of the hardest uh, accessories to get. But the Magitek suit will give you 100 attack, 100 or whatever defense, um, two, 3,000 health. It is amazing. But that's what I would change. Right now, I just have the Magitek shield. But the Magitek suit, which you get by farming, um, what do you call it? You go around in this area, this road right here, or this area right here. And you farm the Magitek dropships. And when a boss drops down, a giant like robot... You're the, you're the right one. You got the right guy. And he would give, drop the Magitek suit, which is just, it's beastly. But I've been trying to get it, guys, for hours. I can't get it. <laughs> I Hopefully I can get it soon. But that's what you equip instead of the Magitek shield. Um, Black Hood for your second. And I, uh, this is my, uh, it's really tough, okay? I like the Dark Matter bracelet. You get this from beating the, um, what do you call it? You get this from beating the Minus Sleeps Beneath Castle Mark. But the anklet of the god, there's so many. Oh, this is what I'll talk about real quick before I actually move on a little bit further. Right here, Celestia, Celestrad. Celestrid? Yeah, Celestrid. Yeah, why not? This thing gives 30% up on fire, frost, and lightning. I've got two of these. You should have two if you beat the final thing, but having two of these gives you 60% up. Having a Shield of the Just gives you 10% up. So that's 70. And if you have a third, well, I think where it's at, where's it, where's it at, where's it at? Or you can just equip one of these, like Lightning Crest, Fire Crest, to give that. So whatever enemy you're fighting, let's say he only uses uh, Fire Attacks. Do this simple thing where you get like 95% or 100% um, resistance to Fire or Lightning. You can dominate that guy because he can't do no damage to you. That's how I beat a few bosses just doing that. It's very cool. Let's get right back to it. There's a ton of items in this game. Every item does something good. But the Anklet of the Gods, this is really good for um, vitality, strength, health. It's really cool. But it doesn't have the damage. And that's something you might want to... You might need. You know what I mean? You might really need this. Um, there's a ton of weapons, though. But I'm right now I'm just going to skip stick with the Dark Matter Bracelet, Black Hood, and the Magitek Suit. When I get it right now, guys, I'm sorry, but I just, I'm trying to get it. It's just so tough. The Magitek Shield right now is just perfect for that because it does, um, it has health, it has a uh, vitality. It's good. It really is good to help you out because you do need a little bit of health for little guys. Once you get down with him, Noctis, he's all decked out. Go over to, um, what's his name? Gladios. I like Dawnhammer. Cyclone's good, but meh. Iron Duke is the most powerful one you can get, other than the other ones. Really good. Gives him a ton of damage. I um, always have a shield with this guy. Zadric is perfect. Really, really good. Um, two blue diamond bracelets. This will increase his attack, which is needed. Go over to Ignis. Overwhelm, the best ability, or Enhancement. Both of those are really good. Vigilance. There is another set. Uh, oh, actually, wait, no, because I don't have that. Boom. Zill Cross Blades with him. If you don't want to use Zill Cross Blades, if not, just use Vigilance. But there is a set of um, Cross Blades that you can get from traveling to the present once you beat the game. You go back, go up the elevator to fight the final boss, but you go back down the elevator, kill everyone, and you get these daggers. But for some reason with me... It glitches out, and I'm actually looking this up in forms, and there's a bug going on where it won't work. So they have to release a patch for that before I can get the daggers, but those daggers are about the same as Azul Crossblades as in damage. So you equip those to Ignis, but right now it's bugged. I can't get them. I've tried 
um, countless times. It just bugs out and the enemy won't spawn, sadly. So that's that. Um, the Flare, you get this from the Hunter Floor Dungeon. Perfect. Equip him with that. Um, the Adamanti Bangle, you get this from Killing the Turtle. This gives him 10,000 health. You will need this for Ignis because he does go down a lot. He doesn't have a lot of health. And as for his second accessories, this is really on personal preference. If you want more attack, magic, I right now I just have the Amethyst Bracelet. That's what I would keep with him. Nothing crazy with him. Um, but overall, make sure you have that. As for Prompto, which is one of your best favorite guys ever, you will have Piercer. Death Penalty. Perfect. Oh, so good. And the... Ooh, this is where it gets a little tricky, okay? I like the Circular Saw because it does deal pretty good damage. You know, stuns him. But the Poisonous Mist from the Bioplaster does help out some. I'm going to keep it with that. I like the Circular Saw. Um, the Onion bane Bangle, then the Helidor Bracelet. These two right here. Really good stuff. This one gives health. This one gives some strength. You know, you need it. It's nice. It really is nice. Actually, if you want, if you have a better one. I actually do have, I have a better one. Do I somewhere through here? Let me see. I'm just going to go real quick, guys, through this. Just to see if I do have something. Because I thought I, yeah, there it is. Okay, the Diamond Bracelet. I was like, wait a minute, I'm sure I had something. There we go. Diamond Bracelet. Perfect. And that's it. That's all you gotta do. They, that is the best. That is truly the best. The Magitek suit you get from farming the Magitek dropships to the ball spawns. That it's, it, it, it takes forever. The other crossblades is bugged right now until they patch it, so I can't get that, sadly. Um, even though some people's got it. I don't have it. I can't get it. Um, here's my Ascension menu. Boom, 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 boom. You can always pause that if you want to. Nothing crazy in there. Elementary, you know how to do it. Pretty simple stuff. Other than that, guys, that's all you gotta do. It's not much... Not It's not that crazy. Um, get some good food, though, if you can. If you go try to get some boss battles down. Look at my car right there. Look at that. That thing's sick. Ooh, with that King's Crest, though. Oh, man. But, guys, if you enjoyed this quick video, drop some likes down below. Subscribe for more. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this video, guys. It really... This took some time to get. Ah, oh, new food. Look at that. Um, hopefully you guys really did enjoy this video. It did take a little bit to get all this stuff. It took a while, actually. It took it took some time. But if you enjoyed it, drop some likes, subscribe, and as always, this has been Two by Two, and I'll see you next time.